What might seem clear to you in your course might mystify your students. Think about ways you can create clarity in your classroom by using backward design. You might want to think about how you might clarify the content in your online classroom, the purpose of what students are doing in your classroom, or any of your assessments or assignments. What student activities could you explain and communicate to your students? For example, one of the first documents your students encounter in your course is your syllabus. However, do students really read your syllabus and know what they are doing at any given time in your course? How can you help your students see connections between activities they are doing and the core objectives of your course? You might consider creating a video like this one explaining what you'd like them to do, or perhaps an audio and or a checkoff list to help them to prepare your students to interact with your course content. If you find yourself answering the same questions about the same activities, you might want to consider offering some type of tool that helps clarify the learning for your students.